Dudleys. This is Tracy of Tracy Vanover Designs. Today I'm participating in the Can't Sleep Creations Collaboration Spring and Easter Edition, hosted by my fab friends Annie of Crafting with Indiana Jones, Dawn of Shabby Meets Bling, and Monica of Up All Night DIY. I will have links to their channels below for you as well as a link to the playlist, so be sure and check them out. Today I'm going to be featuring two printables from my Etsy shop and I want to show you some different ways that you might want to use them. Let's start off with this first one. This is a rabbit that I created on a vintage title page from some sheet music and I've paired it with some watercolor clover. Now there you see in the listing that I have used it as an art print. So let's start with that. I got this 11 by 14 frame at Walmart and the mat that was included was white and I really didn't like that with the vintage paper that I printed this onto. So what I've done is I sent my husband out to Hobby Lobby and he went out, there you go, there's a close up version of the print. He got me a couple of different mats to choose from and the one that I ended up going with ultimately was this deeper green and it has a speckled texture to it and it just looks so fantastic with this print. So I tucked that in I just laid the print in there. This was printed on my laser printer at 8x10 size. I'm not even taping it in because I, I may want to change it out later and I don't want to rip the mat. So I just put those instant relatives back in there on the reverse side and closed up the frame. Now here I'm going to flip it over so you can take a look. This was the coolest frame. It looks like barn wood with like a galvanized ripple edge. And it came from Walmart. I think it was about $12. So very affordable frame of course you could certainly get one from a thrift shop and use just as easily and paint it to your you know particular color scheme here's another example of how you could use it you could also turn it into cards or package labels look at these cute little treat bags you could put them on treat bags you could put them on candy wrappers cupcake toppers try to think outside the box let's move on to the second one this is an Easter word art design now, I offer this as a 10 by 10 printable, but you can certainly shrink it down to another size if you wanted to. Here I'm showing you, of course, how it would look if it was framed. Now, you can also print it out onto clear label stock and add it to a candle. You could add it as a cookie label. You could use it for cupcake toppers. You could even use it to create adorable little wrappers for candies to put into Easter baskets. So I hope that these ideas will prompt you to start thinking outside the box and use your creativity to use printables in a great new way. If you're looking for some fun printables, head over to my Etsy shop at fpop.com. I'd love to show you what I can help you with. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.